there, hot stiff. My name is Dusty and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you would like a personal reading, a cord cutting, or a breakup coaching session, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. If you would like to enter to win a half hour FaceTime reading, you can do that by liking, subscribing, and commenting the blessing. Well, Scorp, Scorp, we are going to do a all tarot seven day forecast. This is your seven day forecast. What it is you can expect for the next seven days in love. I do have some channeled messages here for you. There could be somebody in your life that is a little bossy. Some of you, there could be someone in your life that is a coach, a CEO, a supervisor in charge of something. There's something that they're in charge of, or maybe you are working on that, or maybe you are a CEO or a coach, or you're thinking about coaching your kids uh, team for the summer. There's something there with that. It feels to me like this person's unfair to you. They don't treat you well. This could truly be somebody who is, is very masculine, um, who is very affluent, who tries to act as if they're better than you. This could be your boss, your supervisor, your lover. Some of you, there's something about to be uh, woke up inside of you. Something's going to be reawakened inside of you. Your field of a mag your magnet field your magnetic field here scorpio um there's something about this now what i'm seeing why i'm saying that is what i'm seeing is almost like an outline of red so i i feel like some of you your aura is very bright right now and you may need to work on your root chakra or perhaps you've been working on grounding or you need to so you can start attracting in material wealth some of you you are a little down on your luck and you need to work on your root chakra so you can attract in the right opportunities Tell me, Spirit, what is it that you want Scorpio to know about the next seven days of their life? There's something that could happen online in the next seven days with a lover. You could possibly meet a lover in the next seven days. My goodness here. Wow, Scorpio. Yes, you are attracting in some very uncommon bond. You are manifesting your deepest desires. You perhaps want to do a heart chakra meditation. In the next seven days, we have a lot going on astrologically. Uh, tomorrow on the third, we have six planets aligning perfectly. On the fourth, we have a Venus kissing Kissimi, which uh, will amplify all of Venus's qualities, you know, such as love, your love life, beauty, aesthetics. You may want to really do yourself up on June 4th or change your style a little bit. On the 6th, we have a Gemini new moon and all of these things are perfect for manifesting love or manifesting a new lover or manifesting a past person back. There's a very uncommon bond. Something could be happening within your family unit over the next seven days. You could meet a new lover if you are dating online, especially if you're doing like Facebook dating. I'm hearing Bumble. Some, those two are important. This person may be a Gemini, a Cancer, a fixed sign, um, but it's going to really uh, turn out quite well. It looks to me like you're finally putting your guards down and you are standing strong in your energy and who you are. The next seven days, Scorpio, you're going to be very magnetic. There's someone very charming and very seductive coming in. Now, be careful, though, of ego because in the next seven days, you may be really triggered by a past lover or by this person who acts as if they're better than you. It looks like you've lost your will to fight someone. You're just over it. You're tired of it. You just can't stand it anymore. You're ready to lay down your wands and move forward. You're going through a big karmic completion here. Why 501's energy? But there's something that could kick off in the next seven days with a lover for sure. 
some of you here, you're going to meet a new lover and it will cause a lot of ruckus with a past lover, especially if you are still married but in separation or you share children to this person. They feel as if they own you, Scorpio. They feel as if you know, you should just wait around for them to uh, come back or give you a real relationship. And if you meet someone new, they're going to be so triggered that it's going to cause a lot of tension, a lot of ego, and a lot of fighting. Some of you are going to start talking to someone new this week. You may not meet them, but a lot of conversation, a lot of talking. You may want to do a new moon manifestation. I will, for love, I will have it posted on the Alchemist 2.0. Oh, definitely check it out if you're looking to manifest back someone or in a brand new lover tell me why king of swords if you are dealing with a leo or a air sign scorpio the next seven days there could definitely be some fighting and some arguing to come this person is an ex they're showing up in the energy as an ex they're showing up in the energy as someone who's cunning and dishonest as well they've put you in your mind you feel stuck and isolated with this person in your life they make you feel alone they make you feel like you don't have anywhere to turn i don't love the way i feel right now some of you this person has isolated you from your friends and your family but they fall off they ghost for days they don't come home or they're nowhere to be found and they will not respond back to your messages in the next seven days there could be some argument to come and and with a third party for some of you as well if you are in the middle of a love triangle Scorpio the next seven days you could see something online that really triggers you honey that really makes you feel stuck yeah third party energy for sure definitely there seems to be a decision in love that needs to be made you're being asked to get your fire back Scorp make a clear concise decision come out of this stalemate energy if you have been putting off making a decision or holding on to hope that someone's going to change now may be the time for you to have a come to jesus moment in the next seven days there's something that may kick off or you could actually see something about them and a third party or you could see a third party post something that may be hurtful to you um just be aware of that now tell me what this accomplishment is please there seems to be somebody around you that yearns to be with you, that yearns to be in your energy, but then when they get in your energy, they can't act right. They can't treat you right. There's a faded, beautiful, lucky, oh my gosh, Scorpio, wish fulfillment coming in. Clarity here, new ideas, some kind of truthful um, conversation with yourself or with someone else using your willpower but again we have new conflict coming in there's some kind of conflict that may pop off it looks like some of you have someone entering your life in the next seven days all the way up till leo season that will feel like wish fulfillment but this past person is not going to go out without a fight there's a lot of happiness, a lot of luck, a successful completion. You may get a promotion. You may be getting a brand new job. You may have a brand new career opportunity come in and it's going to feel really good. You deserve this. If you are working on manifesting material wealth or if you feel like you do not have enough, you may want to really work on your root chakra for the next seven days. There seems to be somebody that has longer blonde hair involved. Um, it looks to me like this third party is either a fire sign or a water sign. Why are they coming up? So, And the person on your mind is very regretful. They are walking away from this karmic and maybe it's the karmic that's about to be very triggered. It looks that like that. I have been picking this up for the last few weeks 
there is relationships coming to an end. There is karmic relationships coming to an end. It's going to make you really happy, but it's going to be very difficult for the person you are involved with. Either they are losing money, their children, their home. There's something that is happening to them that's going to feel really difficult and hard for them. And they may come in wanting to uh, have your nurturing and your attention. And that will be entirely up to you. Whatever's happening right now this week, by Leo season, it's going to come into fruition. There's somebody very protective over you as well. This person may be protecting you from a third party's crazy antics. They may be protecting you from a family member, a brother, sister, mother, father, something like this. They've been staying away because they don't want to cause you any problems Why they go through this ending. Some of you have a brand new lover coming in. It's going to feel like wish fulfillment, but you still have unresolved issues with your past lover. And you're going to hear that this past person has went through a breakup with the karmic or they have moved out of the third party's house or something like this. And it's going to cause a lot of confusion. Remember, energy doesn't lie, and you will be able to tell if this person has changed, healed, grew at all. Um, and if they haven't, the unfortunate truth is you may end up back where you are right now if you go back. Yes, they're walking away, but they need some time to heal. They need some time to lick their wounds. Communication coming in for sure. Decisions being made in the next seven days. This person coming into your life will be wish fulfillment, Scorpio. It's very, very good, but it looks to me like you're just not going to know. There's something about it that may really confuse you for most of you. It's that you're still in love with your past person and you're going to have some decisions to make. Maybe you want to try to protect someone from them. Somebody is very protective. Perhaps some of you are going to 12, 22 in the clock are going to try to protect this new person from your ex by keeping it on the down low and not allowing a lot of people to know about this new connection. I would keep it to myself for a while because you don't want to kick off drama right as your relationship begins. I hope everybody has a beautiful and blessed Sunday. Today is going to be the best damn Sunday, the best seven days we've ever had. Wish fulfillment coming in, baby. New clarity, new things, Scorpio. Get into it. Love and light.